Hello, everyone, and welcome to DNM Disney News and More, episode 51. As always, my commitment to you is to bring to you the latest and greatest Disney news. If you're not following me on my social media platforms like TikTok, Instagram, or Twitter, please go ahead and check it out. If you like what you see, go ahead and give me a follow. Let's go ahead and jump into some Disney news. Friends, keep in mind that the annual pass discounts has jumped up from 20% to 30%. That began on September the 14th, and it's running all the way through October the 14th. Don't forget that you get an additional 10% off. So if you've been waiting to purchase some type of merchandise, this is the time to do it, okay? If you're an annual pass holder, it's going up from 20%. It is now currently 30%. Keep that in mind. Very important for you to know. Let's go ahead and begin with some Magic Kingdom news over at Magic Kingdom. If you go to the Main Street Bakery, you can purchase this ceramic tumbler. It is a Starbucks tumbler. As you can see, it is featuring Mickey Mouse. It's got some iconic uh, figures here like the skull from Pirates of the Caribbean. It also has the boat from the Jungle Cruise. It has the teacup from the Mad tea party it's got cinderella castle with the fireworks on there mickey mouse holding some popcorn right we can't forget that some dough whip it also has the mickey pretzel so much going on here very very cool the one on the left hand side is the cup 27.99 again it is ceramic and then also you also have the 17.99 that is an ornament okay just so just keep that in mind you have the cup and you have the ornament okay that's going to be a common theme throughout this newscast uh, it has been announced that uh, Tron attraction is going to be opening in spring of 2023. Spring is what? Uh, pretty much March and April is when spring kind of rolls around. So just keep that in mind. I was hoping that this attraction was going to be open by the end of 2022. But hey, I was wrong. I had so much hopes on there. <laughs> and my hopes are gone. But now it, we know that it's going to be opening in spring of 2023 can't wait to get in there so much is going on right now currently with that attraction it's uh there the tracks are being tested i mean so much going on can't wait to get on there beginning spring of 2023 folks also at magic kingdom it has been announced that the character hatbox ghost is going to be coming to haunted mansion we don't have a date uh, so we're not 100% sure. We knew, we know that this character is very popular over at Disneyland. As a matter of fact, some of the people at Disneyland were gatekeeping this character saying, why is it going to uh, Magic Kingdom over in Orlando? You know, this is something that belongs to us. Well, hey, let me, let me tell you something. Share the love. Share the love, you know. Share the love. So can't wait to see this character over at the haunted mansion magic kingdom again hat box ghost is coming to orlando all right folks let's go ahead and begin with epcot news here it is again here's that tumbler here's the epcot version of it as you can see it is pink it is featuring mini it's got the eiffel tower with the remy that ratatouille silhouette on there it also has the silhouette of figment it also has the right card of test track um spaceship earth it's got some sushi on there it's got the mickey bar love all of it love all of it it has the mission space on there mini is loving it too you can purchase this remember that it is it is ceramic and that you're also saving 30 percent, not 20 percent, but 30 percent if you're an annual pass holder all right very important don't forget about that we know that epcot is celebrating its 40th anniversary beginning october the first i have passes for epcot can't wait to get in that park and check out what they have in store for us now this is a photograph that I found in Shop Disney and it states celebrate Epcot's 40th anniversary available soon. The only thing we know as far as merchandise is what we're able to see here. Spirit Jersey saying Epcot 40th uh, celebrating 
what is it, 40 years of imagination. I can't really read that. I'm only assuming that's what it says, but it looks very, very cool. I love the colors of it. I love the logo. Can't wait for that celebration to begin. Also in Epcot, it has been announced that Figment Meet and Greet is going to be returning by year end 2023. Now, I'll be honest with you, that is a very vague statement. Year end 2023, what does that mean? That means it's 15 months. It could be 15 months before I meet and greet Figment. Nonetheless, I am very happy that they announced that I'm going to be able to meet and greet Figment. Never been able to do that. We know that that's happened in the past. Um, it's been a long time since we've been able to meet and greet Figment. Very happy to know that I'm going to be able to do that. But like I said, it's a very vague statement as far as when we're going to be able to meet him. It says returning by year end 2023, which is pretty much 15 months. <laughs> so just wondering when that's going to happen. Obviously, when it does happen, you're going to be able to see it here on DNM. Also, here's a little uh, concept part of what um, Epcot is going to look like when it's completed. Uh, I love how they incorporated the monorail on here, and it's going to look very awesome. Let me tell you one thing. Right now, Hollywood Studios is my favorite park to visit. I think that once Epcot is completed to its full, I think Epcot is going to be my favorite. It's, it's a close favorite right now, but I think Epcot is going to be my favorite once it, it is completed completely done um and we're gonna be able to see everything right including fake mint and uh including the moana attraction just a lot going on in epcot and it's uh, it's an awesome park right now i can only imagine how much more awesome it's gonna be once it's completed also in epcot right uh we're gonna be able to walk up to the statue uh walt the dreamer that is the name of this statue over here uh we saw some of the videos some of the pictures all across social media uh of this statue over at d23 expo and they have this little placard there and it reads walt the dreamer walt disney said that epcot should always be in a state of becoming he wanted to create a space that inspires people to keep dreaming of the future and celebrate the magic of possibility. When our new statue finds its home in a neighborhood of world celebration, we hope that it inspires this global community to always keep dreaming of a better tomorrow. And that is the, the that I love that because I know that that was the mindset of Walt, right? And that is the reason why this statue is called Walt the Dreamer. Now, from what I understand, this is not like the statue, like the partner statue in front of Cinderella Castle in Magic Kingdom, where you cannot actually touch it. It is surrounded by like a like a gate. I believe that this one here, you can actually be able to touch it and kind of take photo opportunities right next to it. And I love this concept part that they have over here. They have the monorail. They have Spaceship Earth. And the detail on this statue is amazing. Let me tell you, I love it. I love it. I love how they have the pants rolled up like that and his hands. And, you know, he has a whole bunch of, uh, you know, uh, wrinkles on his face. I just love the details of the statue. And I, I, I just can't wait to get in front of it, taking some photo opportunities with it. Okay, friends, that's what I have for Epcot News. Let's go ahead and jump into some Hollywood studio news. Over at Hollywood Studio, here's our common theme. Here is the tumbler for Hollywood Studios. I just love it. Keep in mind, it is made of ceramic. It is $27.99. And if you want to get the ornament, it is $17.99. It matches the same pattern, okay? But as you can see here, you have the Mickey here. And you have the guitar of Rocky Roller Coaster. You have AT-80. You also have the Mickey pretzel. You have a corn dog here. You have one of my favorite attractions right tower of terror you have the pixar ball you have the aliens here i love it i think this is actually my favorite one to be honest with you being that hollywood studios is my favorite park this is my favorite one right here hands down <laughs> hands down so very very cool and that's all i have for 
uh, Hollywood Studio News. Let's go ahead and jump into so Animal Kingdom news. Over Animal Kingdom, here's the common theme again. <laughs> Here's the Tumblr for Animal Kingdom. I thought it was would, it would just going to be cool to kind of go into the park and talk about the Tumblr that belongs to that park rather than just showing all four of them. So again, this is the Animal Kingdom version of it. You have Minnie Mouse again. So just keep in mind. So two of them are with Mickey. Two of them, two of them are with Minnie. And here you have the Tree of Life. You have the elephant uh, signifying the Kilimanjaro Safari. You have, you know, some of the uh, dinosaur fossils on here. You have the Pandora floating uh, elements or islands. Uh, you also have, let's see here, Expedition Everest. How can you forget Expedition Everest? Um, and so this one's pretty cool. Obviously, being that this is Animal Kingdom, it is green. So just keep in mind, it is ceramic, $27.99. Love it. Very, very cool. I, I would love to purchase all four of them, to be honest with you, knowing that I'm going to save 30%. And I'm going to end this, right, with very sad news, actually. Kite Tales. I enjoyed this attraction. I, I enjoyed the show. Um, we saw the first rendition of it. It was a full show where you can s sit down in the uh, theater there um and kind of watch it it was like a 20 minute show more or less and then they kind of reduced it to like a five minute show pretty much um and now they're announcing that the last performance is going to be on september the 30th okay so if you were a fan or if you are a fan of kite tales make sure you go to animal kingdom before the 30th experience this show for the last time maybe film it very very cool very sad news i really enjoyed this attraction but i saw this coming you know once they kind of reduced it to the watered down version of it i kind of i kind of felt that this was going to go away sooner or later it is being extinct kind of like the dinosaurs that are going to be that are in dino land uh, extinct and that land is supposedly going to be extinct also so just keep that in mind goodbye kite tails And friends, I want to give props and I want to give thanks to some of these people here. These are some of the people that I get the photographs from that I feature on my slides. So thank you for Disney, All Ears, Chip and Co, WDWNT, and Block Mickey. And with that, friends, I'm going to say thank you for being here. I appreciate you. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider so. If you're not following me on my social media platforms, TikTok, Twitter, or Instagram, consider doing so. And I'm going to end this video like I always do. We came, we saw, and we conquered. And do me a favor. Have a wonderful day. Peace.